Hello friends and welcome to my backyard once again. It is such a beautiful day here. Honestly, it's been a great week, all week. And I thought, what a better place to come than, let's just have a little chat here real quickly in the backyard. Just to get a couple of things out of the way though. In the past, I have had people comment, what was that scurrying behind you? If you see anything, it's probably a chipmunk, possibly a squirrel. If you hear anything coming from the woods, it's the acorns falling. So that is, that's simply because of where I live. Anyway, I would like to welcome you once again this week. I hope everyone had a great week. Like I said, the weather here has been beautiful and it's been a fun week. Um, I am going to take you inside and as promised last week, I'm going to show you the project that we've been working on. And I would say it's probably about 95% complete. We still have a few, uh, final touches. Um, so I'm gonna take you inside there. And then earlier in the week, uh, Linda and I, we went to a trade show. And then afterwards, we decided to go to lunch at the Wayside Inn. If you have never been, promise me you will add that to your list. It is quintessential New England. The food is wonderful. The atmosphere, incredible. I'm gonna take you around the inn a little just to show you some of the interior. I apologize. I did mean to take you into the gardens. I totally forgot because across the road in their barn, we noticed when we were going in for lunch that they had a store inside and neither one of us had been in there. So we were kind of in a hurry to get over there and check that out. So I apologize. I forgot to take you to the gardens, but you do get to see a little bit of inside the store. So with that being said, I would like to take you uh, inside and show you our completed project. Let's go. Okay, so let's head inside so you can see our new back entryway. This is what I had told you we were working on last week. And I apologize for the rattling of my sign. This is the completed project. Now I will insert pictures here to show you what it looked like before. Now the wallpaper that we had on before, it was coming down on its own. It had been there for quite a while. So that's why we made the choice to redo this. This piece of furniture here, we found this, we were coming through town and someone had just put it out in front of their house with a free sign on it. And I loved the shape of it, it caught my eye. So because it was free, I didn't know what I was going to do with it, but I thought, you know what, let's take it. Maybe one of the girls will want it. And uh, they did not, so I decided to paint it. It's great for storage and put it here. Now this shelf has been here forever. I know you've probably seen that many times. It was a blue and I decided to paint that black. Distress this on top. I did a taupe with a distressing. Uh, to go with the wallpaper. Now I have to give credit where credit is due. Mark is the one who did all of the wallpapering. I'll be very honest with you, I don't have a lot of patience when it comes to that type of a thing. I'll paint, but wallpapering is a different story. And plus I was busy. I was busy you know, I was painting, <laughs> I was painting this, I was painting the shelf and there's another little end table I've been painting for our um, other bedroom that we're redoing. I do need to paint the back of this door here, this one here, I'm going to paint the back of that yet. All the trim, I did paint that prior to, but it was interesting when Mark was putting up the wallpaper he said, didn't we have this in Michigan? <laughs> and when I opened it up, I didn't realize it when I was ordering the paper, but when I opened it up, I thought, oh my goodness, this reminds me of a paper we had in Michigan. So it's not the same colors, but uh, the pattern, very, very similar, if not the same. 
And when we got to talking about the wallpaper that we had in Michigan, obviously it shows I have a love for plaids, uh, any form of plaids. And when I was pulling out all of my items to decorate for fall, I kind of chuckled and I wanna share this with you. Okay, here you go. Do you think I like plaids? Plaids of any kind, whether it's herringbone, tartan, I love gingham too. But I have to share some things with you here. This is a collection I've started many years ago. Um, this, I've had this forever. This came from Michigan with us. It's a, it's a little footstool. It almost matches my new wallpaper. Now, obviously, the colors that I have out here take me from fall all the way through Christmas and really winter. I, I keep some of these out all winter. But anyway, these two here are very old. I inherited those uh, from an aunt when she passed away. And it just goes to show you, I have been attracted to plaids for many, many years. This one, um, when I looked up the company, it looks like it was from Iowa. I have to show you this. Keep in mind now, this is, I, I don't even know how many years ago. I don't even know how long I've had this. It's been many, many years. Look where it's made. Troy, New Hampshire. Now, when I inherited this blanket, I had no idea I would be living in New Hampshire someday. And then this one here, I don't know um, how many of you have heard of Longerberger. This I've had forever also. I got this when I used to sell Longer Burger many, many years ago. So I just thought it would be fun to share my little collection. I guess you would call it a collection uh, that I have accrued over many years and um, just share that with you. Tell me, do you like plaid as much as I do? I would love to know, comment below. So this is about as far as I have gotten with my fall decor. Um, this here I just got. This I um, actually ordered it from Amazon and it is a rechargeable lamp. We don't have any kind of outlets here in this area. So I just loved it and it's kind of a nice little accent piece but also something nice to have on, you know, if we're coming home in the evenings. It is going to be getting darker here sooner now here in New England so we need to think about those kinds of things. Anyway, uh, so here's my decor. A little close-up of that. Just started. I really haven't done much yet. I need to get busy. Okay, so that's it for this project. Like I said, it's pretty much done. Just a few little added touches, a little bit of painting to do yet. With that being said though, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go to the Wayside Inn. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay.
Henry Ford had purchased the inn in 1923. And I'm sure many of you know who Henry Ford is, as in the Ford Motor Company, which originated in Michigan, where I am originally from. So I found it rather fitting that I am here with my friend, who is born and raised in Massachusetts, which is where the inn is. While you're waiting for your meal to arrive, they bring you a bread basket. And in that basket are some little cornmeal muffins along with some dinner rolls. And the wheat that they use in the dinner rolls is milled at their grist mill just down the road. You can't get any fresher than that. We each ordered the Thanksgiving panini and it was absolutely delicious. But here Linda was making me try a french fry dipped in mayonnaise. That's how she loves to eat them. I'd never heard of that before, so I did try it, and it was good. It was different, but I think I'm going to stick with my ketchup.
Thank you so much for joining me. Make it a wonderful week, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.